So I started the writingsamurai.com in 2016. And um, so I remember launching the site to about 2,000 uh, email subscribers. I launched a free course mm-hmm. with the, you know, you try the free course, you like it. Uh, after that, I will try to sell you the 30 day free trial, blah, 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 that kind of course. And I remember launching and crickets jumping. I'm like, oh my gosh, am I going to fail again? Uh, this is terrible. This is like, I'm going to quit already. I'm really going to quit already. If this doesn't work, I'm going to sell the tuition business, sell the tuition center business and quit and go and work as an insurance agent or real estate agent in a sales line. And then um, I remember uh, this very funny incident. My dad was uh, sweeping the floor behind me. Uh, he was helping with the housework. So I'm like, huh, dad, try to sign up for this course. At the time I was still living with my dad. And he's like, huh, what do you mean sign up for the course? Just sign up. Then he's like, hey, I know how to use computers, okay. You think w- what I do at work, you know? So he was trying to sign up. And then he was scrolling up and down on the landing page. And I'm like, come on, dad. Just click on the button that says add to cart. Just click on the button that says add to cart. Oh, at the time, um, e-commerce still wasn't that prevalent amongst the older, older crowd. Uh. Come on, just click add to cart. So he scrolled up and down. In the end, he clicked on my face. My face popped up and expanded and took up the whole screen. He was very annoyed. He tried to click the close button, but he did not click the close button on the photo. He clicked the close button on the browser. So the whole browser closed and he was back on desktop and he did not know how to go back to my site. And then he was like, I uh, waste my time. And he went back to do his uh, household chores. And I'm like, hey, I have a feeling a lot of people don't, don't know that add to cart means buy the course. So I figure I spent one week trying to change add to cart to enroll now. Because, you know, WooCommerce, um, you know, every time you want to make a change, they will try to charge you money. And I was very poor already. So, yeah, it changed to enroll now. Launched the free course again. People sign up. I'm like, okay, finally. The, the button was the problem. That one button was the problem. But here's the weird thing. Um, I think in March or April, we realized a lot of these students were coming to the physical center. So they found they... They like the email content. They like um, um, the stuff that they were seeing, the free videos and all the stuff that I was providing, all the content I was providing. And they started to join the physical center. Entrepreneurship is really hard and it's always better to have a partner to go through that with you. Yet partnership by itself is tricky. Not all partnership ends up well. So Jerry and his partner Jimmy really seems to be able to make it work despite their differences. And when I asked him to reflect on this relationship, this is what he has to say. Okay, so the the weird thing is, uh, uh, Jimmy and I have very contrasting personality types. So my students and customers, when they see us in a webinar or see our lessons, they can tell we are polar opposites or people who met Jimmy before. They can tell that we are polar opposites. Uh. I always joke that I'm like fire, he's like uh, earth or water, uh, like very contrasting. Uh. Um, so that's one thing. The personality is uh, quite different. Uh, the second thing, honestly, is uh, kudos to Jimmy. He he doesn't have a temper. Mm. Yeah, so I think I think that kind of worked out because <laughs> polar opposites, I have a temper, uh, quite short temper. Uh, I'm quite impatient. I'm very aggressive. Uh, very, very, very aggressive, very uh, heart-driven. Um, and, you know, if, like looking back, right, if I had worked with someone else, uh, that whoever who worked with me who will probably quarrel with me or get fed up with me. Uh, but because Jimmy does not have a temper, uh, very, very seldom. I've, I've never seen him with a temper. Maybe only when children are when children are rebellious or, you know, talk back to him. La, but that's very, very, very rare. Uh, and I think another thing is also like a marriage, right? You've got to, we, we've got to understand that each person perceives the world very differently. Uh. So what you perceive, the reality you perceive is very different from how your wife perceives or how your business partner perceives. Your priorities may be very different. Priorities may be very very different. Like maybe some people want to focus on family more. Maybe some people don't want to talk about work at certain times of the day. Maybe some people don't want, don't like phone calls. Mm. You know, they prefer messages or some people prefer voice messages. Some people prefer text messages. Some people prefer to work at night. And I think it requires a lot of patience and understanding on both parties to, 
to uh, listen out to each other.